guys please subscribe to moon's diary of literature and don't forget to press the notification bell now check out this video so in today's request session i'm going to discuss why alexander pope in the rape of the lock used the machinery of the seals or this question also comes like the use of silphic machinery in the rape of the lock so let's start the session but friends before starting we have to know few important things about the rape of the lock so this poem or the rape of the lock is first published in 1712 and then the final version was published in 1714 okay so the story of the rape of the lock is based on a real life incident in which a person called lord peter had cut off a lock of hair of arabella farmer without arabella farmer's permission okay so in order to understand the silphic machinery we have to know about the silphs at first so the silphs are the spirits of the air who always guards the beautiful and the chaste virgin women and preserve their virtue against the various dangers and the temptations of the bemond even in the rape of the lock through the ariel alexander pope make it clear that any virtuous and chaste lady or we can say the virgin lady like belinda who rejects all love offers from men is protected by some silph okay so silphs are actually the light airy substance who are in charge of protecting the virtuous ladies the chaste ladies okay so in the rape of the lock alexander pope used the machinery of silphs gnomes so this machinery is actually based on the rosicrucian doctrine of spirits according to that doctrine souls of four various sorts of women after their death pass to four different elements and the different elements are the air the water the fire and the earth okay so actually according to the qualities that are predominant that are prevalent in women after their death they pass into four different elements as per their nature okay so in the rape of the log the self spirit called ariel explained to belinda about this type of spirits now we have to know about the list of the spirits and their names so the spirit of the violent rude unscrupulous women pass into fire element and then they called salamanders the tender or gentle ladies pass into water and then they are called nymphs the spirits or souls of the serious minded women become the spirit of earth and they are called gnomes and finally the light hearted spirits or the light hearted ladies pass into the spirit of air and are called sylphs so i think this is clear so in the rape of the lock which is a mirror of the 18th century contemporary life alexander pope presents the heroine belinda who is also lives like the other fashionable ladies of the time belinda suffers from all the vanities all the follies lack of moral scruples of the upper class ladies of that time in the beginning of the rape of the lock in canto 1 pope brings out the introduction of sylphs particularly he brings out the introduction of the sylph name ariel okay so as belinda is a late riser she is the type figure of the cockers of the time that's why she wakes up at 12 and then she again falls asleep and the guardian sylph of belinda whose name is ariel he prolongs her sleep and summons up a morning dream for her so after this belinda wakes up from sleep by the licking tongue of her pet dog whose name is shock okay so the sylphs and obviously the ariel also fly around belinda when she is performing her toilet duties means when she is dressing her up by the help of her servant betty so when she is having a drive in the hyde park even when she witnesses a race all the time she is under the protection under the surveillance of the sylphs especially ariel okay even this sylphs also taking the charge of the duties like saving the powder off from the cheeks of the ladies preventing scents from evaporating suggesting to this type of women like belinda new costume ideas etc okay so when belinda goes for a pleasure boat trip the guardian spirit of belinda who is ariel he smells an unknown danger that is about to befall on belinda but he doesn't know the exact nature or the exact way through which the danger will come okay so ariel obviously takes precautions and as a result he called up an other sylphs and informed them about the impending danger on belinda 
So the seals got numerous duties like taking care of Belinda's hand fan, her ear drops, her watch, her favorite lock of hair and the Ariel took the duty of taking care of Belinda's pet dog whose name is Shock. Even Ariel also warns the seals that if they will not perform their duty sincerely then they will surely be punished. Okay. Friends in the description box I will provide the nature of punishments of the seals of course the appearance of the seals so don't forget to check the description box okay so after this after her boat ride when in the game of Omber Belinda got a victory then the baron is about to cut her lock and at this moment all the seals close around her lock and try to and they try to warn Belinda about this incident but all the efforts all of their precautions goes in vain because the Baron finally cuts the lock off her hair. Even at this point, when the spirits, or means the sylphs, tries to warn Belinda about this incident, then Ariel is quite disappointed because Ariel looked into the inner secret of Belinda's heart, where he finds that in Belinda's heart, there is an image of an earthly lover. Actually, she knows in her heart that the cutting off the lock of her hair is actually a compliment to her beauty. But she knows that this event will make her a degraded toast to the society. So privately she has enjoyed the adoration by the Baron but publicly she condemned Baron's action. So this is here the main thing. Okay. So Alexander Pope here in the rape of the lock uses the machinery of sales which both mirrored as well as mocked the 18th century contemporary society. It is evident that whenever the seals see a lady who is about to fall to the licentious approach of a lord of a gallant then they present a then they present a more handsome more charming young gallant to her to the lady so that her attention can drawn out from one gallant to another more charming gallant okay so this inconsistency in behavior is the target of pope's actual mockery actual satire okay in the rape of the lock, through the character of Ariel and through his speech, Pope is actually mocks at the feminine levity, vanity, daydreaming, personal decoration, etc. Actually, the, the frivolous vanities, follies, okay, of the ladies of that contemporary time. So here it is evident that Pope's use of the sylphic missionary is obviously made this epic more heroic. And according to Pope's use of the sylphic missionary, Ion Jack commented that English poetry contains no passage of description more exquisite than that of the seals in Canto 2 of the Rape of the Lock. So guys that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video.